Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I talk about Krebs doxing the Mirai botnet author. If you're not familiar with the term dox, this is basically a term used to describe identifying the real life person behind an online account. And in this case, Brian Krebs, a well known security journalist and researcher, claims to have identified the author behind the Mirai botnet. Now, this article that he wrote is very, very long. It's over 8,000 words and goes into all kinds of investigative journalism detail on how he actually came to the conclusion that a particular person is behind the source code for the Mirai botnet and also probably used the Mirai botnet in DDoS attacks himself. Now, I highly recommend you read this article. It's very fascinating and kind of illustrates how hard it is to identify or attribute certain things online. There's all kinds of different mechanisms that people can hide behind anonymously, so it's very difficult to figure out who's really behind something. So it's fascinating to see how Krebs, who's a seasoned investigative journalist, goes about figuring this stuff out. Now I'm actually going to just jump to the punchline though and say according to Krebs, a Rutgers University student named Paraz Jha is behind the source code for the Mirai botnet. And I won't go into all the details, but apparently this starts because of Minecraft servers. Apparently there's a ton of money in hosting Minecraft servers and attracting Minecraft players to your servers to get added services, but then there's also a lot of money behind DDoSing your competition's Minecraft servers to steal their customers and bring them to your Minecraft servers instead. So it looks like a lot of this started just by a Paraj Jha actually using these DDoS techniques to make money from Minecraft servers. Ironically too, by the way, is Jha also claims to run a small anti-DDoS company as well. So he may be using DDoS attacks to uh, get more customers to his particular tiny company. Anyways, it's a very interesting read full of interesting investigation techniques, online drama, a lot of twists and turns, and so many different names and entities that Brian Krebs had to actually put up a glossary for this article to help you out. I really highly recommend you check it out, but at the very least, it's interesting to know that Krebs thinks he knows who's behind the Mirai botnet. Now, you have to realize that it doesn't seem like Krebs has validated or, or verified this research with anyone else yet. The FBI hasn't commented on it, even though the FBI apparently has talked to this particular individual before. And also, a lot of his evidence is anecdotal connections. It's he said, she said between different people that are associated with this. It's between online forum posts and kind of identifying similarities between two different aliases. There's not a whole lot of technical detail here as far as IP addresses or owners of hosting services or any just really strong evidence tying everything back to Jaw yet, but it really is a compelling article. I'm not saying there's no evidence there, but it's less on the technical nature and more on different sources claiming to have talked to this person or associated him with different aliases. So anyways, my only takeaway is check out the article. It really is interesting and also pretty educational. Now, despite the fact that this guy could be the author behind Mirai, finding him is not really going to change much. The source code for Mirai is actually already out there. It's publicly available. On top of that, the other interesting thing about this article is Mirai is just the latest variant of an IoT botnet that has been evolving over time. So even though Krebs might have identified this guy and maybe the authorities will catch him, it doesn't stop the fact that Internet of Things botnets will probably continue to exist for a while now. Anyways, fascinating story. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.